Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 Before You Buy video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Rest in Pieces Cam Bundle, uh, which includes a whole bunch of stuff. Some Mr. Uh, Fuzzy Plushie, Wasteland Werewolf Mask, uh, a doll. I don't know how to pronounce that word. I do apologize. I am from Ukraine. Sometimes I mispronounce stuff. The Wolf Howl emote, the Metal Claws paint for the Death Claw Gauntlet. I'm not quite sure if I have that weapon. Uh, window bars, rest in pieces, camp kit, and wasteland werewolf outfit. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and buy this bundle, start review it, and we're gonna review it uh, as it had those pieces listed there. So we're gonna kick off with the Mr. Fuzzy toy plushie, and <laughs> let's begin. Alright, so the first item that is included within this bundle I'm going to show real quick, which is the Mr. Fuzzy Balloon Animal. So you can find it at your floor decor with all the rest of your other uh, plushies that you have collected neither either bought from the Atomic Shop. So after that, you place it and this is what you get within this bundle. So I'm going to show it to you real quick so we can move on to the next item. The next item would be the Werewolf Mask and I'm gonna collab it with the outfit at the same time so I think this is more than enough to see what you're getting here let's move on to the next item alright so the other, the next item would be the wasteland werewolf mask and also the wasteland werewolf outfit so I'm gonna be showing this to you on the male character and the female character where it's gonna be a mannequin just so you know unfortunately with the mask you cannot do any goggles or any gas masks so if you apply the actual <clears throat> like for example here let me put this on and the gas mask right with some outfits it actually works that uh, they sort of work but not in this case uh, myself I actually find the uh, the actual like uh, mask pretty cool if you remove the helmet you can see that this is what you're getting if if just for the mask right so uh, that thing over there above on this mannequin as we can see is the outfit itself and that's the uh, mask that you get so um, like you can do pretty decent a lot of pretty cool um, what do you call uh, combos right so like like this for example boom there you go looks not bad huh right right too bad you can't hide those eyes like put an eye patch or goggles that that would be pretty cool uh, but it is what it is all right so once again right now we're gonna be doing that what's, what's going on all right so that's the mask and now the outfit over there so there you go you can see the male and female at the same time oh it looks oh no never mind so you got this knee with some sticking spikes or whatever Oh, my money gun is flying <laughs> but it is what it is I mean I like it both it's like not bad not bad pretty cool pretty cool my only like what I do not like is uh, between the neck and the outfit itself there is like an opening you see that over there and on my character it would be cool if they would like uh, kind of like be one whole thing you know that would be cool uh, but it is what it is from the back it don't really stick out so it's good mainly is like when you play you see only the third person of it right uh, but from the front it's too bad that you can still see that's that thing over there so you, if you collab it with uh, other outfits you'll need to find something that actually covers this thing over here and actually that will look nice like the blood eagle uh, outfit that I just wore actually looked good with that mask so there we go that's the outfit review for the third person and the actual mask as well I think this is more than enough to see what is this outfit all about and if you want it or not so that's how it's gonna look like it's pretty cool I like it alright so uh, let's move on to the next item alright man <laughs> the next item is this doll man the freaky looking one is just insane as you can see uh, you're able to build it if you navigate to your floor decor now you cannot interact with the doll for some reason 
I was thinking there's gonna be like a sound animation or stuff like that. It is looking like scary as hell. <laughs> I really don't like these type of dolls. It always give me those nightmares, man. Uh, but anyway, it's a pretty cool uh, item to have if you love building like Halloween camps, right? So this would be a pretty good addition. The other thing is wh why I was thinking maybe it's a bug that you cannot interact with it. Uh, this is my thoughts, by the way, because when you actually try to replace the doll, it actually makes sound. Like, let's listen. <laughs> Spooky sound, man, right? But that's it. I mean, uh, you can hear that only once you're like uh, building the item essentially or moving it around. And that's it. Which is kind of like. What the hell? <laughs> and that sound is actually a little bit spooky freaky too, man. Oh my god. I hate. Ugh. <laughs> but yeah. Pretty good addition for your Halloween uh, camps if you love building those, but it is what it is. Too bad you cannot interact with it. I tried like looked all over the place to click a button, but I couldn't find anything. So maybe, uh, maybe you know. So I already said okay. Well, it is what it is. This is what you get if you purchase the bundle. So once again, let me show you quickly visually. Six. And that's the doll. Let's move on to the next item. Alright, so the next item that we're taking a look at would be the Wolf Howl emote. So I actually saw people doing this and I found it pretty cool and that's the bundle it is. So I'm definitely going to be using this one. So essentially, uh, you will need to first apply it right here. So you'll need to have this mark, okay, that you selected it in your at the Atomic Shop at the emotes section. When that is done, then you go to your wheel of uh, emotes. And then you'll need to navigate to the MISC section, expand, and you'll be able to find uh, this emote right here. So, boom. I like it. But that howl is sad. Like, <laughs> it'd be cool if we had a terrifying one. Like, <laughs> this one's like, I don't know. But still, I mean, it's cool. It's cool. I like it. Whatever the case is, still cool. Love the mask. I'm gonna be using that one for some time. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the next item. That's pretty cool. You got a bit. Alright, so the next item that we're going to take a look at is the Metal Claws paint for your uh, Death Claw Gauntlet. Now, in order to use the skin, essentially you'll need your weapon uh, workbench, then you will need to have the actual weapon, neither crafted, neither find a legendary version, or you know. So, uh, you need to have the Death Claw Gauntlet. Afterwards, you go to your weapon workbench and apply the skin. So, here we go. The skin has been applied. I'm wearing it right now. And uh, let me quickly rename this to one so we can check it how it works with display cases. So uh, let's take a look at how it looks like in the third person. Gotta tell you, it looks good. Well, first blink. Kind of looks like Wolfram. Yeah, I, don't know. I, li I like it. I like it. If I were to be a melee build and I would have used this type of weapon, definitely would uh, use this thing right here and collab it with the uh, wolf. <laughs> wolf ride. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I like it. Now, first person. <gasps> Don't make any sounds. Block. Alright, so I think visually it's more than enough to see whether this skin is good or not. Let's move on to 
the web display cases. So it does not look like you cannot use it here. You cannot display it here. Nope. Nope. Wait, hold on. Weapons. Oh no, here you go. You can. Sorry, my bad. So there we go. So I would assume this one works and this one works. The others will not work. Alright, so that's what happens when you display it on this display case. all right now let me remove it from here you remove this stupid thing as well I forgot a lot about it now you cannot place it on this one you cannot place it on this one you cannot place it on this one nope 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 and you can there you go well, that thing is too dark, so overall, I mean, it's alright, I guess. I still prefer this one, to be honest, because it's like, it's not that super dark. If this were to be powered, maybe, like, make some lights or whatever, but still, I mean, here. Just imagine, this is your camp, you're there, this is your wall, you're going, what the hell is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Over here, you'll be able to see it clearly. But anyway, uh, it is what it is. That's the death claw. So let's move on to the next item, I guess. Right? True? Yeah, let's go. Alright, so the next item that we're going to take a look at would be the window metal bars, which you can locate at the wall to wall decor section once you're in your in your build menu so you can remove it this is uh, just a window door and you can build it pretty much like that so boom and that's it your windows are guarded <laughs> now let me quickly show it to you how it looks like oh wait let's use let's use photo mode man does not highlight it so there we go It's basically just the metal covering so nobody enters your house. Like let's find another just wall with another example. So we got here we go. Boom. And boom. Okay, you get the point. So let's move on to the next. Alright, so the next is the rest in pieces camp kit. So there we go. We can see a whole bunch of different items over here on this screenshot, right? Uh, let me go ahead and show it to you in the build menu so essentially in the build menu you will need to find them at your uh, walls right section and roofs section I'm just gonna use the new tab over here because it's gonna take me a tremendous amount of time to locate mine because I own a whole bunch of stuff so this thing is included one of the parts also with hanging gardens right I'm not gonna build it just gonna show it to you we are going to build the windows as well, uh, just to check if you can interact with it, but it is what it is. So there we go. Then this is another option. You can see that there is, I don't know, like plants or whatever growing. <laughs> so it's on all of them pretty much the same, but not on this one right here. Uh, this already reviewed. Okay, so here is the window. <laughs> Come on, cat. What are you doing? You just bit my uh, bit my foot. <laughs> my God. All right. Then we got the walls and the entrance to the door. That's actually looking good. Not bad. All right. So let's see if we can interact with this thing. No, we can't. And the door. Now, which side is this? This is the back side because I can apply the wallpaper. So this is the front. Oh man. Yeah, my lights ain't the best, but here it is. All right, I think that's more enough to see what you're getting. But we can see it here, right? All right, then we got the small version. 
this types and the roofs so I like this by the way this is pretty cool it's got the hanging things so that's actually pretty cool and this is the roof as well all right so that looks uh, pretty much it for this item I hope I didn't miss anything over there because as I said guys I'm not the best cam builder out there so I even had the case once where I showed absolutely totally different camp kit from what it was supposed to be but it is what it is so if you found the video useful don't forget to smash that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so do have that in mind uh, if you're new and you subscribed, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So, hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching this video. I will see you on the next one. And by the way, as of recording this video, which is the 27th of December 2022, there is a war going on in Ukraine. So, if you're open for any charity, making any donations, I will share with you two links which will lead you to two different funds created by the NBU, which stands for the National Bank of Ukraine. One fund is for military and the other fund is for humanitarian. So if you're open to do any of charity, feel free to use one of those links. And thank you for all the love and all the support. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go. We are the clan, we have a gamer soul. By the might of the sword, we put the pen to the test. We are the clan, we are the gamers